a seemingly impossible task is actually achievable if you follow a good solid process and just have fun and relax and enjoy that process. In the end, you can actually achieve anything. So what I mean by that, um, I work for a company, Team Building Asia, and we have a program where we can take a large group of people and introduce them to something that's totally out of the box, like music, for example. We have a program called Beats Work, and I can take up to 500 people that have never seen or touched a musical instrument, and I guarantee you, in the space of an hour and a half, I can teach that group to play a Brazilian samba completely together like they've been rehearsing as a band all their lives. No one believes me when we start, so there's this big moment of doubt and, and uncertainty. But I just explained to them that I've gonna, I'm going to give them a process that they can follow, that's tried and tested. All they have to do is trust me, and I will then teach them everything they need to know to play this song. Uh, we worked with Kingfisher Sourcing here in Shanghai, actually. We did the program with them for a large number of people. Complete success at the end. And when you get this group that comes into something they know nothing about and then they have the success at the end, there's this feeling of elation. And there's this unbelievable surprise and feeling of pride that they've all come together and followed a process and trusted and come out with this outcome that they can actually listen themselves and hear was a good result. We have five instruments in the Beats Work program. So what we do is we bring everyone in, we let them hear the music, hear the rhythms, and then we let them choose their instrument. And then I give them a series of processes where I teach them individually rhythms. They learn what we call a simple Brazilian samba beat. And just when they think they've done everything they can do, we say, no, no, no. A musician wouldn't play the same song over and over again, so we actually teach them musical breaks. And this is getting into the intermediate level of musicians. And then they say, oh wow, I am not just playing a beat, but I'm actually following the conductor. So I'm giving signals, and they are actually able to read my language as a maestro, as a conductor, and follow that language and play all together beat breaks, musical instruments coming together, going in, going out, and making this full sound. When we finish the program, we finish with a grand finale. So imagine that you've got in a horseshoe shape up to 500 participants all on a drum or a bell or a percussive instrument. We do a start, we do the full thing, it can last up to 10 minutes. And the song just goes and goes and goes. And then we do a stop and we all stop on a dime, not a single instrument is played at the end of it. And then the roar coming from the people, because they realize what they've just done, is I just got goosebumps, it's, it's huge. Um, I remember one moment, actually, we did the program again last week, and this woman came up to me. She was so excited at the end. She said, well, I never thought I could play music. She has a daughter who is actually studying violin, and she's always been in admiration of her daughter's ability. She finished our program, and she said, you know what? I'm going to go take drumming, because she fell in love with percussion, and she found that she could actually do something with music that she never thought she could before. It's really amazing to get a group of people and give them a seemingly impossible task and see that in the space of an hour and a half, two hours, they can actually achieve what they've set out to achieve so that they can go back to the office the next day and really translate that back into anything that's asked of them at the workplace. And they can think, oh yes, I remember Beats Work. I remember I thought I wasn't a musician and then I was. So we hope that they can take that momentum back to the workplace and apply it to their everyday life.